Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm coming to you guys with another Follow Up Friday video. Follow Up Friday. And this is going to be on the Inoff K2 motorcycle dash cam that is on this motorcycle. It's actually been on this bike now for two and a half years. It's kind of hard to believe. But uh, I've been running it the whole time. It's basically just on and always there. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't even know the last time I checked the footage. It's really just there, like people are riding my ass like this guy behind me. In case something were to happen, a hit and run or something like that, we are able to actually capture some uh, images. And like I said, I haven't looked at the, the video in like two and a half years because if I'm recording anything that I need for like moto vlogging or anything like that, I'm running GoPros, which obviously are much more production quality video than uh, any dash cam is going to be. So what I'll do is, <laughs> if the K2 is still working, which again, I didn't even verify before I started shooting this video, but that's kind of the whole purpose of the Inov dash cams or the motorcycle dash cams is that it should just always be there working. So if you see when I pop up here, the video, then that means it's been working and is still working. And if you don't see it, then this thing has been a failure and it's uh, you know no longer operational. So you can choose what you decide based on this. You're kind of reviewing it with me, I guess you'd say. But if the video is there, well then, yeah, it's still working and it's doing exactly as it should in the background. And that's awesome. That's what it's meant to do. So the video quality on the Inov dash cam in general, on the K2 at least, uh, and if you're interested in the K5, which is the new 4K camera, I'm actually currently giving that away on the channel. Uh, unless you're watching this after the giveaway, I'll link the video up above here. Uh, but the dates for the giveaways are down below. All the rules and everything on that video. So uh, again, go check that out if you're interested. But the K5 is the new 4K. The one that I have on my bike here is a K2, which is a 1080p um, dash cam. So I've had good luck with this thing. As a matter of fact, the last time I harvested footage from it for a video on this channel, was from my ride to um, over to Texas for the Bring It Home event when I was riding through just brutal weather. It was dark out and I wasn't running GoPros because I was literally riding uh, for my life to get out of that storm. Um, but what was cool about that was that after all of that nonsense and terribly uh, terrifying ride that I had, I was able to go back and get that footage and include it for content um, on this channel, which was pretty awesome. So I haven't really had, knock on gas tank, any close calls to uh, harvest any footage from. But again, the whole point is that it's there if you need it. So unfortunately, the reality, I mean, guys, riding bikes is dangerous. We all know that if you pretend like it's not, you're kind of pulling the wool over your own eyes. But in all reality, it's a dangerous uh, hobby to take up. So if something were to happen where I get, uh, you know, T-boned or some hit and run, something like that, that um, puts me in the hospital, it's obviously good to have that camera because that in and of itself very well might be the thing that your family needs to um, be able to kind of shake everything out. And um, it's a sad way to look, but it's a realistic way to look at things. And um, so it's, to me, having a, a motorcycle dash cam just makes sense. As a matter of fact, it makes more sense than even in the truck, which um, I do have a Thinkware U1000 in the truck, which I've reviewed before. I'm a big dash cam fan. I had a, a huge sheet of ice fly off a tractor trailer back in uh, Buffalo years ago. And I was really young into this channel, just playing with GoPros. And I had one just coincidentally at the time <laughs> running on my, my uh, window as a dash cam and I captured it and after that I was like, I need to run dash cams all the time. So, uh, you know, I think that they're a really awesome thing to have. Um, again, I've had good luck with Inov, unless you're not seeing the video here, but um, even with that being said, you know, I should check more often to see if it's still actively working. Uh, just out of like any maintenance, but for me, it's more of like a set it and forget it. And if two and a half years, it's still running, that's uh, pretty solid because it gets pretty toasty. The control module for this thing is under the seat and I'm sitting out here right now. I mean, it's 80 degrees out, but you guys hear me say all the time out here in Arizona, I'm riding well into, you know, over 110 degree days. And uh, that module under the seat is probably 
pushing 150, if not more, degrees, uh, and the fact that I can hold up to that, just, that's insane. So, I'm really happy with uh, Inov as a, a brand, uh, as far as the cameras go. I have seen people in the comments uh, mention things like lack of support or having issues, so I can only speak uh, for myself. So it is important for you guys to know it was a sponsored uh, video when I originally did that review, uh, but everything I say is absolutely uh, my personal opinion, and I will say that even my relationship with Inov has been like, I guess I'd say weird, if that's the right way to put it. Um, I just felt like there was like a really weird misunderstanding of each other possibly through my relationship but that's okay I have no problem with that because it's just kind of the reality of of, of it so uh, as long as the product is good which again I've had no problem with it then it's all good by me and I personally would recommend in of as a dash cam for your motorcycle um, I again I, I have no problem recommending it I take my recommendations super serious on this channel I always tell you guys that uh, the last thing I want to see is somebody going out and buying something that I have recommended only to find out that it was a turd and uh, then my name is forever tied to that turd so I don't want that it's not good for me it's not good for my channel and it's not good for you guys and I'm not here just to leverage my name for like a, a freebie things it's uh, uh, my reputation is more important than that and um, that's how I treat this channel and will always treat this channel so with that being said guys that is my follow-up Friday in off K2 two and a half years later been running this thing and uh, it's just a nice little peace of mind that it's always there so I love it so again thank you guys very much for tuning in if this is your first time tuning in please hit that subscribe button down below remember likes go a long way to help support the channel I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to go enter that giveaway if you're interested in that in up K5. Again, video linked uh, up above and down below. So I'll check you guys next time. There was a sheet of plywood in the road that uh, if I wasn't running a uh, GoPro, it would have been nice to uh, be able to capture that if. Uh, something more up to gone wrong so it's exactly why you have dash cams <laughs>